Hey everybody, this is Sarah Greenleaf. I'm with the Ranch at Dove Tree. And today I'm really excited because I am going to talk to Taylor Wesley. And Taylor Wesley works in business development for Dove Tree as well. And she is our National Collegiate Specialist. She's also an alumni of Dove Tree. So I want her to tell us a little bit about her experience. Um, hey Taylor, how are you doing? Hey, thanks for having me, Sarah. I'm excited. Me too. So, okay. So you came to Dove Tree. You're an alumni. Tell me a little bit about how you ended up there. Yeah. So I was struggling with mental health from a very young age and ended up turning to alcohol to cope with that. And it turned quickly into an addiction within, I'd say, two years, to be honest with you. Um, it really took off when I got to college at Auburn University. And it turned into this vicious cycle where I drank to get rid of this negative feelings and emotions that I was having. And maybe I had consequences. I got myself in a lot of risky situations. And in order to get rid of that feeling, the only logical solution for me at the time was to drink again. And so that continued on until my sophomore year. I was failing out of school, had gotten in trouble, and my parents pulled me out of school. They were trying to find a good treatment center for me, but weren't sure because we were looking at places. And I was the youngest by like 20 years. And so I thought that I was too young to be an addict or an alcoholic. And we heard about the Ranch of Dove Tree. Somebody got in touch with us and they were like, there's this facility that specializes in young adults and college students. We do this amazing work with Texas Tech University. Why don't you try it out? And so I went to the Ranch at Dove Tree in 2014. And I remember finally, you know, I felt... Um, not so special or odd anymore. I was amongst like other young people, other people who had been in college too, people that were similar um, as far as, you know, age. And even though addiction doesn't discriminate, I do think it helped a lot with my early recovery and learning to have fun in early recovery and make those relationships in early recovery. So I went through residential IOP and transitional living, um, their full continuum of care. And so I was in residential for about 45 days and then stepped down to our transitional living tree haven and I was there for about three months and it was great because um, our director at Dev Tree of Clinical Services is also the director of the collegiate recovery community at Texas Tech University. So he sat down with me and looked at my courses to see what I could handle, what was transferable. Um, so I was able to go to class during the day and go to intensive outpatient treatment at night for three hours. So, I mean, I was kept pretty busy. And then I went to Tree Haven and slept there at night. And I was in a house um, with a bunch of women and they were my family at the time. They helped me get through a lot of, you know, you go through obstacles in early recovery and you need to have those people to lean on. So they helped me a ton. Okay, great. So um, you mentioned that you were 20 years old um, when you got sober. So tell me, a lot of times we hear people say, I can't be an addict or an alcoholic. I'm only 19 or 20. Um, what, what would you say to them? Yeah. So the best advice that I was given in treatment by the older women, because we have a traditional program as well um, for 26 and up. And they told me, please get this now. If you take anything out of this, just get, get this now because it only gets worse. You hear often pick up where you left off and, you know, where I left off was in a hospital where I'd almost died. So I really remind myself that every day and it humbles me every day that even though I'm six years sober now, I'm no different than anybody who's one day sober and that I don't want to go back to that bad place. And I also think that what I learned in early recovery and the resilience that I was able to build and the experiences that I had, like I think a lot of young people think that they can't have fun because they aren't using drugs or alcohol. They relate college with that. They relate being in your 20s with that. And the reality is until you experience it without it, you'll never know. So I finally was able to experience it and do all these amazing things that I never would have been able to do um, in active addiction. And so that became so much more fun than I ever felt when I was drinking. Um, so it didn't seem that bad anymore. <laughs> um, and I've had an amazing, you know, I'm 26 now. I've had an amazing time in my 20s without alcohol. And so I, I like to tell young people that a lot. You know, it sounds like a simple concept, but it can be 
really tough, the social pressures and stuff like that. Finding a family, finding a community, finding people to lean on, finding that, you know, young people's meeting that you can go to every week, finding a sponsor to work with that maybe is in that age group too. There are people out there. There's a lot more people out there, but you have to reach out for help. Great. Um, so what, if you had to describe the, describe Dove Tree in one word, what would it be? Oh, wow. That's tough. Um, I don't know if I could describe it in one word. Can I do one sentence? Sure. It was one of the hardest things I've ever done, but I wouldn't trade it for anything. I think that would be I love that. So six years sober at 26, that is really incredible. What a testament um, to Dovetree and the work that you've done too. Love that. Um, so if you had to tell a young person today, um, let's just two or three sentences about how their life could be if they got into recovery, what would you, what would you tell them? How their life could be if they yeah. got into recovery? Um, I mean, it can be... The biggest thing for me is I felt like when I was getting sober, I was being held back and that I didn't have freedom to do certain things. But recovery gives you this freedom that you will never understand until you experience it. It's mm -hmm. a freedom from addiction. It's a freedom from being held back by addiction when you change that mindset. Instead of thinking that recovery is going to hold you back, that having to be sober is mm -hmm. going to hold you back but then instead of looking at it as recovery makes me free and it gives me opportunity and it, I find relationships. This is totally not two sentences, but it's fine. Um, but yeah, that's what I tell somebody about the freedom that you feel. It's, it's amazing waking up each day and surrendering to it. Um, Cause I think you can relate that to a lot of stuff in life that goes on, like what's going on right now. So what is your greatest accomplishment since coming into recovery? Um, I would probably say my greatest accomplishment was building my relationship back with my family. Um, you know, you can look at those external things. Like I, a lot of people would say, oh, like when you were homecoming queen at Auburn, well, that was really cool. The relationships that I have now, the strong relationships that I have now with my family, the fact that my sister looks up to me and says I'm her hero, the fact that my parents tell me that they're proud of me, like that's that makes it all worth it because I always felt like I, I wasn't enough for myself, for anyone else in my life. So finally, you know, discovering that I am enough, I'm enough in the eyes of my higher power. Um, has given me peace uh, with my relationship with my family and my friends. Taylor, thank you so much for talking with me and sharing your story um, with our audience. So I really, really appreciate it. We are very lucky to have you on the team for sure. So until next time. Thank you too. Thanks right, for we'll doing healthy. All right. Bye, Taylor. Thank you. Bye.